Production support for award-winning News 6 has come from Whirlpool Corporation's Finley Division, working to make your life a little easier. Additional support has come from the Northwest Ohio Educational Technology Foundation and from this public television station. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Decker from Emerson Elementary School in Lima, Ohio. Here's what you'll be seeing in News 6 today. An unusual pet, a double dutch street, some safety tips for kids. Hi, and welcome to News 6. I'm Jenny Lehman from Emerson Elementary School in Lima, Ohio. Here with our first story is Jason Gatsi. If you have a pet, chances are it's a dog or cat. We visited a lady who's got not only dogs and cats, but a pet monkey too. We stopped by her pet store to learn more about her monkey. Mrs. Paul, could you tell us about your pet store? Well, my pet store carries birds and fish. My personal mm -hmm. pets are here. We have a large selection of tropical fish and saltwater fish, some that are never seen by people. What made you decide to have a pet monkey? It's the closest thing I'll ever have to a child. They're very intelligent, they're very loving and affectionate. And definitely interesting. Could you tell us about Bundy? Bundy is 17 weeks old. He's a Java macaque. Originally they come from the Java Island. He was born and raised in Texas and I got him through a supplier in Cincinnati. What kinds of things does he eat? Well, he eats predominantly monkey chow. He also eats anything else high in protein, good foods for him, fruit, vegetables. How big will he get when he's full grown? He'll be between one and a half to two feet tall and probably about 15 pounds since he's a male. Okay. Do you have any other pets? I've got lots of other pets. Lots of other pets. <laughs> I have lots of tropical fish of my own, several parrots, cockatiels, nine dogs, and four cats. Okay. Thank you, Mrs. Paul, for showing us Bundy. Today's show is being produced by Mrs. Hildred Gwynn's sixth grade class at Emerson Elementary School. Lima is located an equal distance between Toledo and Dayton on Interstate 75. Lima was incorporated in 1842 and has a current population of 47,827. Some people have enough problems jumping with one rope, but there are a group of girls at our school who jump with two. The style is called Double Dutch, and we talked with a few of them while they showed us their moves. Just got two ropes and we start twirling and then people jump in it and then we just start learning how to do it. I've been jumping with one, one rope since I was six and two ropes when I was seven and my friend Rokia Johnson taught me. I practice here at the school playground and I, at home. I was, jump, I was jumping with one ropes ever since I was seven years old, and I started jumping with two ropes when I was eight. The thing I like most in jumping is being able to turn around in the rope. I started jumping rope when I, with one rope when I was seven. With, I started jumping two ropes when I was nine. I practice about once a week. The thing I like most about double dutch is pop-ups. Teaching small children how to be safe is very important. Lima is special because it has a place called Safety City where ch children can learn all about safety. We recently talked with a police officer in charge of running Safety City to learn more about this special place. Officer Butler, how long has it been Safety City? Safety City was built 
in this location right now in 1979. Before this building was built, they had their safety city at different schools in their parking lots. Officer Butler, who can attend Safety City? Uh, any child from kindergarten through third grade can come out here, and this is for the whole county. Could you tell us what you teach here? What I teach here, yes, I teach bicycle safety. Uh, bicycle safety consists of uh, showing the kids on what side of the street they are to ride on, uh, how to maintain their bike, uh, anything to deal with safety uh, so they won't get hurt while riding a bicycle. I also talk to them on strangers uh, and I have some little tricks I pull on them, try to get them to come to me where I can grab them, trying to teach the kids to stay away from people they don't know. I talk to them about fire safety. Uh, the fire safety, I show them how to call the operator to report a fire, how to get out of a, build, a burning building, what to do if their clothes catches on fire, and also what to do if they happen to see matches lying on the floor. I also show them on safety on how to cross the street uh, by themselves, uh, show them how to cross the street using a traffic light, and also show them how to cross the street using a push button which activates the walk, don't walk sign. What happens when you complete the program? Well, in the summer program, when they, when they complete the program, they get a certificate, they get a box of McDonald's cookies, and they get a glass of McDonald's orange juice. Now, in the winter time, when the teachers bring their classes back in here, I hope they learn enough to where they're not going to go out there and get hurt. Could you tell us about the war you recently received? Sure. I went to Columbus where I received the award from the Ohio Department of Highway Safety and the Governor's Traffic Safety on school education. And uh, to receive this award, there was people that were nominated for this award, and they took it before a group, and they went through and see what this individual did, and I was fortunate enough to win it. Thank you, Officer Butler, for showing the safety city. That's all for this week's show. Join us next week when News 6 travels to Bergen, Ohio. Production support for award-winning New 6 has come from Whirlpool Corporation's Friendly Division, working to make your life a little easier. Additional support has come from the Northwest Ohio Educational Technology Foundation and from this public television station.